All right, our art challenge is over and I now have seven contestants. Thank everyone for participating. I want to be able to keep doing these. Uh, next one will probably be at a thousand subscribers, so might be a while. Before I get into that, I do have clothing on my website. Um, it's all eco-friendly and Okinawa or Japanese inspired. I have a new design coming out by the time this video is out probably. Okay, let's get into it. Our first submission is from Ahiru on Twitter. Now this is a solid piece. It's uh, supposed to look like a magazine cover. This artist has really strong shading and lighting technique, and you can tell that she loves anatomy. It has a good composition overall. It's symmetrical. They, they plugged Yonaha Media on there. I like the Japanese aesthetic with the katanas and the dragon mask. Overall, a very nice piece. The next submission comes from Chair and the Mouse Squad. This is a nice piece. The character is in a dynamic pose. I like the color. The pose reminds me of the, the thinker statue. I don't know if that's what it's referencing. I guess what makes this fit the cyberpunk aesthetic is that neon pink purplish color and then the goggles. But yeah, this is the only piece where the composition is gonna be square. Everyone else did a vertical except for one or two, I think. But yeah, this one was a collaborative effort. Uh, thank you, Chair, for participating. This next piece is from Psycho Princess, and there is a lot to talk about here. I really like the soft shading on the face and the clothing. There's buildings in the background, there's neon lights. I know that I picked an awfully hard topic for most people. Cyberpunk isn't what most people are good at. But everyone tried and everyone did really good. I like the gothic hair colors and makeup. She put her own watermark as the neon sign in the background. That dynamic pose really sells this one for me. It's really nice. I like the cybernetic enhancements on the torso and arm. So yeah, thank you Psycho Princess for the submission. This one is from Spencer, the creator of a webcomic called Perfect Defect. Now this one was made prior to the challenge, so it is not gonna be qualified for winning, but I did wanna talk about Perfect Defect a little bit. It takes place in a cyberpunk world. This character's name is Lunetic. It is a giant centipede robot with a human face. Spencer does all of this himself uh, using a combination of 3D and 2D animation. Um, I'll have his TikTok linked in the description. I think everyone should check out his work. But on to the next piece. This piece comes from Despect. Now, I really like the the aesthetics, the neon glow, the blooming effect on this one. Uh, it is really nice. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to know if this character is wearing some kind of helmet or if that's his hair. Uh, I'm gonna go with a helmet, but it's really cool. It kind of makes me think of Shadow the Hedgehog. But yeah, I like the uh, the lighting effects. The background is really cool. I see stairs and I see neon lights and all that. Now, I don't know if this artist has any social media, but I will contact him about it because he's rather young and he's really good for his age. This next piece is from Connor. Now, this one came out of nowhere. I didn't even know he was participating, but wow, this is really nice. The motorcycle makes me think of Akira, which is one of, you know, the biggest inspirations in cyberpunk. Uh, that motorcycle is just really nice. I love the character. He has that subtle highlight from the neon green lights on his hair, on his eyes, on his jaw, and the pose is dynamic the background is really cool they're all around this is a really strong piece yeah no I'm just I'm blown away by this this is really nice the final piece the final piece is from Omen and this is a very nice perspective drawing I believe this is supposed to be like that conspiracy where birds are all government drones like this is a cyber 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 bird sitting on a street light going down into the horizon and then we got these buildings in the background. I like the contrast and colors. You have yellow complementing the purple. You have a lot of gray and you have a lot of contrast in between the light and dark in this drawing. But yeah, that is everyone's submission and it was a tough choice, but the winner of this one is Connor. It was a tough choice, but I think that Connor's is the strongest piece. I'd like to thank everyone again for participating. I hope that you're all just doing it for the fun because art is great. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely pick an easier theme next time. I know a lot of you were not interested in cyberpunk, but I'm glad that everyone took a stab at it anyway. So yeah, if you'd like to see another art challenge or participate in the next one, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna announce it probably at a thousand subscribers. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I'd hope you subscribe to the channel for more and like this video. Follow all these artists, please. They all need your support. And anyways, thank you for watching.